Okay, hello there everybody that doesn't know me. I'm Jordy Johnson at Carve Fusion. Here we got some sawdust in the way here. So let's get this sawdust and brush it into the corner here. So today, this video is a shout out to good old Ben, Studio on the Lake, and Just Carve Rob. So uh, let's get on to this carving here. You guys know that I'm not a realism, uh, what's it called, a realist carver. I don't carve like animals and stuff like that or real things that are supposed to be real in the world but here is an animal can you guys guess what this is going to be i put a post on in the facebook group world of wood carvers asking people most said um uh elephant or a freaking i forget what they said anyways i'm going to start carving and um there's a lot to do here so i just show you guys i got my center line okay all the way around Okay, I don't know if this is going to turn out. I don't give a crap if it doesn't turn out because we're just going to carve and we're going to have fun today. And I hate to do it. I hate to do it all to you. I hate to do it to myself because I'll probably have to go over it five times, but I'll be doing a voiceover for lots of this carving because I'm going to crank the music and just shape it. And you guys will have to guess what it's going to be because I, because I got a plan for it, but I don't know if it's going to turn out. So we'll see. Hi there everybody, this is Jordy from Carbon Fusion. Today we're going to be working on, uh, uh, I don't know, some kind of animal and um, see how it goes. Um, we're using a Cutsaw 4000 today and this is sped up 4000 times the speed. And um, so, what we got? <laughs> okay, so um, I don't, I'm not going to say what this is turning out to be, but I know I need to cut his butt down a bit more. And uh, like I, I said, excuse me, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not a real life, like a realism carver. I just carve kind of whatever I want. And you know, from the last couple days doing that mold stuff, it was actually pretty stressful for me because just nothing went smooth. So I just figured I want to carve something fun today. <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me again, I'm not really care if, care if it turns out right. So there I'm cutting the feet lower and... Yeah, so I'm using a Dremel 4000 with the Dremel Flex Chef. That's my preferred go-to combo. All my burrs basically are cutsaws. If you want to get a cutsaw burr, you can go down to the description below. Use the code CFUSION in the cutsaw site. Save yourself 5%. And also, guys, Starbond. If you go to my Starbond link below. Yeah, a freaking car salesman, I know. But if you go to my Starbond link below, they're offering 15%. With the code uh, C Fusion, there's a link below, and there's a link below for my Amazon store. Um, I should go probably work at a used car lot and try and sell used cars because who knows? Maybe, um, well, whatever. Okay, so let's just keep on doing this talk through, and um, I decided to give this uh, video tribute to Just Carve Rob and uh, Ben's Studio on the Lake because I really enjoy their um, channels. I, uh, why, like, don't get me wrong, I'm subscribed to lots of channels, I love them all, I watch all the videos, I can't comment them all, on all of them, because I watch them on my TV, but I like Just Carve Rob and Ben's channels, because they got, their imagination is, is just as wild as mine, I think Rob's is just a little bit more wild, if you guys will see his dragon, I want you to carve another dragon like that, uh, one you got on the plaque, Rob, that's probably my favorite carving that you've, uh, done. Is your wall dragon on the plaque <clears throat> you should probably send that one to me rob so i don't know maybe maybe not who knows i don't know you know okay so i can be done this voiceover i think here are some special effects for my little buddy kelvin at kelvin's carvings okay enough of the jokes and games has anybody got any idea what kind of animal this is yet gotta remember guys i'm just having fun here and, uh, well, I guess I should keep on car carving, car car carving, <coughs> carving, carving. Okay, so I did cut out two of these things, okay? So I just want to say to you guys, just if this c can help anybody out, because these legs are going to be getting thin here, right? So I made the grain go up and down, right? Because if you made the grain go sideways like this, like I, I, made, I cut it so the grain was up and down. If you made the grain go sideways, when I thin these legs out, they're going to be able to break off because the grain goes this way and it could snap right there. But if, if you make the grain go long ways, then the, they can't break off, 
right? Same with this part. Then this part won't be able to break off. So anyways, let's just uh, try and use the grain to your advantage, guys. Everyone and ladies. So here's what we got. So you can see what it is now. If you can't see what that is right now, then, well, I just don't know because, well, it sure looks like a, well, I'm going to say it sure looks like a pig going to drink some water. And um, I said in the Facebook group, Carving Fusion <laughs> World of, uh, I just got a message from Just Carve Rob. I sent him a message. I said, I'm coming for you, Just Carve Rob. I'm coming for you. And Ben's studio on the lake. These two guys right here, they got YouTube channels. Studio on the lake, there's his stinky sock. And uh, Just Carve Rob, his uh, toast plaque. But he just, Rob just uh, replied to my message. It just came up on my screen. It says, bring it, bro, bring it. I'm coming for you guys. So anyways, you guys can see this is a pig. It's going to be a wood spirit pig kneeling down, drinking water or something. I haven't thought yet. So in the group Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers on Facebook, I, I, I held a picture of this up. I said, can you guys tell me what I'm, can anybody guess what I'm going to carve? Some people said buffalo, lots of elephants. I, I would think buffalo or elephants myself somebody's like one of those star wars things some real when larry dale said i don't care um some people said carve wood or something i don't know but there's lots of funny comments on that uh, thing but the people that guess the pig i don't know how you guess the pig liz obviously you guess the pig pig because you know i'm crazy but um these are the people that guess the pig terry humphreys liz penna and Gene Drake, yep, you guys are the guesses of the pig. So let's, uh, but if you didn't guess a wood spirit pig, but let me uh, let me see if I can carve a face in here. And that's going to be his long beard down here, and there's his stout thing. So it helps, guys, to have pictures of your carvings on of what you want to carve on the wall so you can do reference lines for the legs like that. And I don't know, I just, whatever. It's a friggin' wood spirit pig, okay? Okay, so I, uh, I'll say, like, uh, I don't know if I said in the voiceover, I did this whole thing with the Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr, my favorite burr. I did quickly hit it with the sandpaper. So now I've got this little burr in here to do the detail. And for all of you that don't know, you can get sets like these on my in my Amazon store or on Amazon or eBay. They're like uh, detail burrs. They're metalworking burrs. Okay, so they, um, here, I'll show you the size of the, this is the size of the normal bird that I use. This is the cut all extreme. Then look at the size difference for these, right? So, okay, so there's the flame bird I got in my hand piece. I'm going to do all the little details on that face, and I won't show you the carving, and because uh, this video will probably get too long. Like I said, Jess Carve Rob, I'm coming for you. You too, Ben. You too. Here's the first parrot. First spirit pig. <laughs> oh, he's a weathered old soul, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> yep, he's a pig, all right. So, um, here's a shout out, another shout out, Jess Carr Rob. This prime, uh, Rob's not a big fan of his razor tip. It just uh, takes too, too long to heat up. But I got the digital one. This one's pretty, really expensive, if you ask me. But uh, here, let's turn it on. See how fast this tip uh, heats up there. Just kind of rub. Three, two, one. Oh, look how hot that is. Oops, the wire just broke. Okay, so anyways, when I was uh, taking a jab at Just Carve Rob for not having this razor tip, this new one, I uh, call that karma because I turned it on. You guys can see that the, the wire was old and it snapped on the pen. But these pens, you can put your own wire on it. So let's turn this sucker on now. Three, two, one. There you go. Let's let it heat up a bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yep, there you go. Nice and hot wire. Karma gets you every single time. But I'm still coming for you, just car, Rob. Now I'm going to burn in some uh, details in this mustache and hooves or whatever they're called i don't freaking know so as long as you guys are having fun that's the key about any type of art <sighs> really 
I can't believe that wire broke when I was just taking a job at Just Carve Rob. Karma, it gets you. It sure does. Okay, so this is something that Ben's studio on the lake, for any of you guys missed that um, video of me unboxing it, that he carved for me. And I just wanted to show it. You guys check out his YouTube channel. Ben, uh, just studio on the lake. And just carve Rob. Just carve Rob, carve that guy for me. Ben carved this guy for me. This is supposed to be me. Look, it's with the chainsaw hands. If you, any of you guys that haven't seen it. See? Jordy Johnson, carving fusion. Best in show. I don't know about that, Ben. Number one. I don't know about that, Ben. But uh, this wind spinner, this, this is like real. I love Ben's style because he's. Um, He's like a traditional wood carver, but he's a new style wood carver too. But like this is these old wind spinners, wind clickers are really old uh, traditional wood carving. So you know, and he also made me Sam too. So he sent me two of these guys. You know, like how cool is that, right? So Ben, I love your carousel carny car your carousel carvings that you're doing of that. Um, I like the uh, seahorse one that you're working on. So I, I did a little tribute to you. So this pig has a little thing on there for somebody to sit on and go on a carny ride. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. There's a little pig. So there's a tribute to you, Ben. And um, so let's get this pig painted. Oh, it's got to be hot pink. Oh, yes. So we'll make this part black, the seat thing. And then we'll make this uh, pig Hot damn pink. Maybe the beard um, gray. Yeah, so let's start painting. Okay, I can't believe it. I just have to have some Valentine's pink downstairs at the bottom of the drawer. So um, this is acrylic paint. I know just Carve Rob and um, other carvers mix um, their paint with water to dilute it, make it travel better. But I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to Oh, this is hot pink for sure. That's pig color pink, is that what that is? So I'm just gonna. Uh, who? That's that's uh, pretty bright pink there. Not pretty, like uh, I hate the color pink, but this pig needs to be pink, right? It's a, it's a friggin' pig. Pigs are pink. Well, they're kind of skin color, but whatever. This is a pink pig. Okay, so I'll finish painting it. And um, I guess I'll be back. Hot pink little pig. Way too pink for me. But so what I'm going to do now is give it a black wash. Okay, stand up. Stand up, stand tall, you little pig. So I got some black uh, acrylic paint in here, just a couple drops and some water. Okay, sorry about, shoot the camera, man. Mix it up good, let it sit for a while, and then I'm going to go over this whole thing with this black, uh, black wash, right? It'll just make it not so bright. Okay, bye. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to brush it on really quick and wipe it off really quick. Uh oh, now it's a, a kind of a black pig. That's okay. We'll just get this done. Okay, so here it is after the black wash. Not so uh, bright anymore, eh? I did Mod Podge that saddle already. Already, that's why it's shiny. So now I got to um, Mod Podge um, this whole pig with this uh, Mod Podge gloss. So I gave. The tribute to Ben's studio on the lake putting the saddle on here for him, his carousel things. So now, now I guess I should do one for uh, Just Carve Rob too. Hi there. I'm Jordy, the worm. Just Carve Rob carved me, and I think I need to go on a pig ride. So let's get this Jordy the worm sitting right on that pig. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, yeah. The spirit pig and Jordy taking a ride. 
So I'm not done yet. I got to Mod Podge this pig. And, uh, well, I'll be back. I'm going to just um, use a little bit of hot glue on this guy to attach him to the pig. So I need to, um, uh, if I ever need to take it off. So I'll be back. Okay, everybody. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. Um, ben, Studio Lake, Just Carve Rob. I love you guys' uh, carvings. I love your YouTube channels. Just keep them going. More videos. So Ben, Studio at the Lake. Um, hey, are we ever going to see your your uh, basswood shed? we got to see all that basswood that you keep. I keep asking, but you just kind of avoid the subject. And, um, yeah. Just Carve Rob. Oh, yeah, Ben, also, are you going to carve that spirit bird that I asked you to? Carve a spirit bird in your comments on one of your videos? Spirit bird, come on, Ben. And just carve, Rob, I have a feeling that you're carving a spirit bird today. I just have a feeling. Okay, guys, so here we go. Here it is. And here's a shout-out to a good YouTube friend and a subscriber, Christopher Eastwood. All hail to the spirit flying pig. No, no. <laughs> All hail to the spirit of the flying pig. With Jordy the worm going for a little ride. Would you look at that? It's the flying pig. Hey, Ben, you little helicopter. You ever rode a flying pig? <laughs> It goes just perfect right here. All hail the spirit and the f whatever it is. <laughs> and Jordy the Worm's going for a ride. Look at that. He's even bucking like a horse. Oh, yeah, that's going to go there. I'm doing this carving for all the haters out there. Uh, <laughs> uh, you got to have, what's that saying? If pigs could fly, well... Guess what? Pigs fly at Carving Fusion. They sure do. Spirit pigs. All hail. What is it? No. All hail spirit of the flying pig. With Jordy the Worm going for a ride. <laughs> uh, it's staying there for a while. Sure is. Hope you're all good, guys. All hail spirit of the flying pig. Oh yeah, I got it on a spinner thing up here. So uh, look, it just spins around and Jordy the worm gets to go on a trip and get dizzy. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, I got to eat my uh, Greek salad I made. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more uh, power carving videos. Thank you.